Humanity has always tried to better understand its place in the world, and it has been doing so by studying every aspect of nature. Nowadays, we are headed to new planets and stars. Every day we find new exotic objects, and the more we study the cosmos, the more we understand there's much more to understand. This, like it or not, is the true meaning of making science. Even here on Earth, some inexplicable phenomena happen but we have no idea why they do. Shakira and PK breaking up and then dissing each other or Greta Thunberg getting arrested by German police. On the scientific side, instead, on June 6, 1961, the Earth started shaking, pulsating with a period of about 26 seconds. This was detected by long-period seismographs throughout the world, and it gained the attention of the scientific community when Jack Oliver a geologist best known for his later work on tectonic plates wrote a paper to try to explain the unusual event. Oliver figured out that this pulse was coming from somewhere in the southern or equatorial Atlantic Ocean, and that it was stronger in the southern hemisphere's winter. It would have probably been something destined to be forgotten if in 2005 Greg Benson had not found it again. Keep watching the video to get to know more about this strange recurrent phenomena. Spoiler, it got scientists really confused. The Earth is shaking every 26 seconds, and no one knows why. What we know about it. Since the work of Jack Oliver, a lot of studies have been presented in order to explain the strange vibrations of the Earth. Here's what we know about it. First of all, more precise studies have suggested it gets the Earth shaking once every 26 seconds. Jack Oliver's measurements in the 60s gave a measured time of 27 seconds between each pulse, but new instruments allowed for better measurements. This pulse could be compared to a heartbeat and it seems to be quite stable, not varying much from one observation to the other. The vibrations are caused by micro-earthquakes that, as Jack Oliver suggested in his early work, are located in the South Atlantic Ocean. More specifically, in 2006, scientists narrowed the range to the Gulf of Guinea in Western Africa. These oscillations of the Earth are observed with seismic sensors. If you were a scientist, you would see something that looks like this, appearing every 26 seconds in your data. Moreover, observing the signal over the course of a year from the Northern Hemisphere, you would see it becoming stronger during summer and weaker during winter. This in turn means that, at the seismic point, which is supposed to be located in the Southern Hemisphere, the oscillations are the strongest during winter. Seismic Events We said this pulse is of seismic origin, but what exactly is a seismic event? Before getting to know the answer to this question, consider liking the video and maybe subscribe to the channel. It would help us deliver you new amazing discoveries every day. Seismic events are occurrences that release energy in the Earth's crust, resulting in a series of seismic waves. These waves can be felt in the form of an earthquake or may be so mild that they can only be identified with specialized equipment. There are various causes of seismic events, such as human activities, geological activity, and even volcanic activity. Seismic activity is studied closely by seismologists, and there are monitoring stations located around the world that are used to track seismic activity. In some cases, a series of minor seismic events can precede a major event, providing a forewarning of what is to come. This can be used to prepare for an eventuality, such as evacuating people before a volcanic eruption. Seismometers are extremely sensitive pieces of equipment that are used to log movement in the Earth's crust, allowing scientists to track the movement of seismic waves and identify where the seismic activity originated. The data collected from these devices is then sent to a central monitoring station, allowing for the aggregation of data in order to reveal any important trends. Seismic events have a significant effect on the Earth, and monitoring seismic activity can provide important information about the safety of the areas near them. Understanding the nature of seismic events can provide valuable knowledge to seismologists and other researchers and can help to protect people in the vicinity. Noise all around us 
Though this particular pulse is intriguing, the fact that there's seismic activity during a quiet time, that is, not during an earthquake or volcanic eruption, is old news. The Earth is constantly making small vibrations, and this seismic noise is used by scientists to study the Earth's structure. Believe it or not, this subtle noise is created by the Sun. How? Well, here's how. The Sun heats the Earth more at the equator than at the poles, generating wind, storms, ocean waves, and currents. When these waves hit a coastline, they transfer energy to the land, similar to when you tap on a desk and the other end vibrates. Scientists are able to use patterns in seismic noise to explore the interior of the Earth, and the discovery of this intriguing pulse in 2005 surprised them. Seismologists such as Michael Ritzwaller explain that these pulses are a result of the Sun's energy transferring through the Earth's tectonic plates, creating seismic noise that can be felt on the other side of the globe. Scientists are currently studying the source of this pulse and the environment it's in to deduce more information about its origin and what it can tell us about the Earth's interior. Origin of the Pulse Our unusual pulse is probably not different from all the other sources of seismic noise in terms of how it originates. Garrett Euler, a scientist at Washington University who managed to constrain the location of the seismic microevent to be somewhere around the Gulf of Guinea, tried to give an explanation for the origin of the 26 seconds observed signal. According to him, the pulse is generated by waves hitting the coast in a particular fashion. When these waves cross the oceans, the pressure difference in water doesn't have a major effect on the ocean. But in the case the continental shelf was hit, it would deform the ocean floor. It is exactly like if you were tapping on your desk. It deforms the area near your knuckle, but then it's transmitted across the whole table. As Ritz Wohler said, someone hitting at the other side of the table, if they put their hand or maybe their cheek on the table, they can feel the vibration. However, this might not be the only explanation. A team led by Ying Ji Zia from the Institute of Geodesy and Geophysics in Wuhan, China, proposes that the most likely source of the 26-second pulse is not waves, but volcanoes. That's because the pulse's origin point is suspiciously close to a volcano on the island of Sao Tome in the Bright of Bonny. And indeed, there is at least one other place on Earth where a volcano does cause a micro seism, with some similarities to this one, the Aso Volcano in Japan. Actually, Japan is one of the most volcanically active countries in the world. The island country sits on the so-called Ring of Fire, where several of the planet's quakes and volcanic eruptions are recorded. In 2014, Japan saw its deadliest volcanic eruption in almost nine decades on Mount Ontaki in the central Nagano Prefecture, with 63 people being killed. Anyway, the debate is still open and we will probably need more studies to assess the true origin of our strange signal. Even outside this main debate, more questions remain. For instance, why does this micro-seismic event happen exactly in the Gulf of Guinea? I mean, there are plenty of other continental shelves and volcanoes around the world that, as far as we know, aren't causing seismic pulses. What's so special about the Gulf of Guinea? Unfortunately, we have no idea. It is possible that we might uncover a unique local feature or maybe some kind of interaction between the local geography and the solar energy that triggers the pulse. In any case, the search for answers continues and every new discovery serves to further our understanding of our planet and the universe. Conclusions So to recap, this mysterious signal first documented in 1961 by geologist Jack Oliver and later in 2005 by Greg Benson is a seismic event that releases energy in the Earth's crust in the form of seismic waves every 26 seconds. Scientists have since narrowed its source to the Gulf of Guinea in Western Africa and theorized that it is caused by wind, storms, ocean waves, and currents that shift energy to the land when they hit a coastline. This is similar to what happens when a desktop is tapped on, causing vibration on the other end. Additionally, the signal is stronger in the southern hemisphere's winter. There is debate as to the origin of this pulse with some attributing it to wave activity while others believe it to be volcanic in nature. 
Regardless, this phenomenon serves as an example to show just how much of the universe remains to be discovered and understood. Ain't that amazing? As you can see, researching natural phenomena is often a multidisciplinary effort involving geologists, seismologists, oceanographers, volcanologists, and more. Despite the advancement of science, many natural occurrences remain unexplained, and it is possible that new discoveries will unravel the mysteries of the universe. The strange signal is an interesting example of the things we have yet to uncover and understand about our planet and the cosmos. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. What do you think about this phenomenon? Will we ever be able to understand its origin? Let us know in the comments below. Have a great day.